afternoon is number 333, We Three Kings of Orient are, number 333. Would you please stand as you're able? We three kings of Orient are, bearing gifts we traverse afar. Field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to the perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, ceasing never over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, Star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh, prayer and praising gladly raising worship him god on high oh star of wonder star of night star with royal beauty bright westward leading still proceeding guide us to thy perfect light is mine, its bitter perfume, breathes a life of gathering gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone-cold tomb. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. So today as we celebrate this uh, Feast of the Epiphany, let us be reminded of God our light. And let us, uh, as we uh, continue with our celebration, let us uh, offer to God all our faults and our failures and ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty oh, my God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have I sinned through my own, my own fault. fault. In my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what, what I have done, done and what I have failed to do. do. And I ask of Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the all angels and the saints, and to and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. As one people of God, let us offer our voices and sing in this wonderful hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Gloria in excel. 
naciste Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Let us pray. Lord God of the nations, we have seen the star of your glory rising in splendor. The radiance of your incarnate word pierces the darkness that covers the earth and signals the dawn of peace and justice. Make radiant the lives of your people with the same brightness and beckon all the nations to walk as one in your light. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your word made flesh, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, in the splendor of eternal light. God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nation shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nation shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, 
that every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the King, and your justice the King's Son. Ye shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. given me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You are light that shines in the darkness, star to guide the nations. Lord Jesus Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, 
Where is this child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and we have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, I by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child would marry his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Brothers and sisters, the good just of salvation, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> So one year ago, this day, I was ordained to the priesthood. Thank you. <laughs> and my heart, my heart was filled with gratitude. And I would like to thank uh, Bishop George, who is the, the, our presiding bishop, and uh, for being so instrumental in fulfilling the vocation that God has called me. Thank you, Bishop. He has been so patient in understanding with me. <laughs> and I thank all of you here as well, uh, the entire parish community, for all of your encouragement and prayers. And of course, my family, whom I know is constantly praying for me, even though we're far apart. So when we celebrate the, this Feast of the Epiphany, the Epiphany of the Lord, we always talk about the Magi, the three kings from, and the, from the east, and the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So these wise men from the east were most probably astrologers who, were, who constantly consult the heavens. And because of this rising star, they knew that a king was going to, the, to be born, and they began on their journey. So one thing that I could relate myself to with the Magi in the Gospel is their journey. So as a young child, I have looked up to my mother, my grandmother, and my aunt as, a, and as, as an inspiration. And I remember my aunt deciding to enter the, regi the, the religious life of the Sisters of St. Anne. I was always, always looking forward to the days when I would visit her, and she always looked so happy and very radiant every time that we meet her in the convent. And I always knew that this was a fulfillment of God's plan for her. And for my grandmother, my grandmother's piety for me is so admirable, for I always find her with a rosary in her hand and my grandmother lived with us, and I have always looked up to her 
as both my mother and my grandmother. And as for me, I grew up away from my mother. And jobs in the Philippines were not as financially rewarding. So my mother had decided to work abroad. And my, my mother comes home every year. And she was about with us just for a month. And then, uh, and then off to the Middle East. And as a child, there was no internet. Uh, it was unheard of. Phone calls to overseas destinations would cost you almost a month's salary. And every time one of my, uh, every time one of my co mom's co-workers would come and visit the Philippines, my mom would send us these small pasalubongs, or these small packages. And I would always look forward to it, with some chocolates and some shirts. And one thing that I also really look forward to is the voice tapes. So for those of you, these are cassette tapes <laughs> with, a, with a side A and a side B, right? So, <laughs> so my mother would always record them. And uh, for hours and hours, she would talk on this voice tape. And I would always listen to it. And uh, she tells us the story of what's happening with her, of what's happening in her job. And she would tell us how she misses us so much, uh, each and every one of us, and perhaps sometimes give us some motherly advice from the voice tapes. And uh, every time I received a greeting card from her, she would sign it, love and prayers, mommy. So I was, when I grew up, I was always found myself serving in the church in one capacity or another. Or, or another. I was part of the choir in the elementary and high school years. And I joined a charismatic youth group in college. And inspired by the devotion of the numeraries of Opus Dei, and almost joined them. <laughs> but the conflict of my identity always surfaced up. It was not something that could always ignore and hopefully go away. So upon my realization that I was a gay man, it seemed that the door to the religious life in the priesthood was shut down. I thought it was time to look at other options. But when I came to the United States, I found ways to serve the church by being part of a choir again. And then I met uh, Father George in 2007, before he became a bishop and my vocation was somehow rekindled. And I knew that God still had a plan for me, and fulfilling my vocation was still a possibility. <coughs> so these people in my life were the stars that led me to this path. So I saw their lives as living examples of devotion, prayer, self-sacrifice, so even though my journey was not as straightforward as I had hoped, and there were many times that I may have ignored my vocation, but the stars in my life led me back. And I began to see God's plan, an epiphany, as it unfolds before me through their lives. And now you and I, have crossed paths on this journey. In one way or another, each one of you had an influence in my life. And you have all been my stars as well. So when I get tired or overwhelmed, I look at you and I draw strength from you. And you inspire me through your acts of kindness, generosity, and acts of charity. So as we continue to journey together, let us look up to the stars that help us get back on track, those that point us to God. And perhaps we can identify many who have inspired us or had an impact in our lives. Let these people continue to inspire you, for the light of God shines through them. And at the end of our journey, we will find God 
just as the Magi found a humble child, Jesus. And we will realize that God himself has always been a part of our journey and he is also our destination. Let us all stand and profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, one in being from the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Through the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer to God all our prayers and petitions as uh, we continue to follow God in His uh, guidance of light. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people on earth, that in times of darkness we may find guidance and strength in the light of the Lord's grace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of cities, states, and nations, that they may be an example of your love and wisdom as they work to create a better world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. As we celebrate the Epiphany, may we learn to welcome all who are different and value their gifts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parishes of the American National Catholic Church, that the Lord's all-encompassing love be reflected in the lives of both pastors and members, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of St. Francis, that the Holy Spirit move us and give us strength in the face of persecution and evil, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those most in need in our midst, that your love and the promise of salvation guide them and move others to support them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may rejoice in God's love and forgiveness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, for those suffering, and those with debilitating illness, that the Lord heal them and grant courage to those who care for them. And are there any for whom we should pray for today? Nyla and Paul. Father. 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 Lord. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may find peace in the kingdom of heaven, and that those who mourn them may be comforted. And are there any others we should especially remember? My father. And for those who have offered uh, the flowers for the art altar, in memory of Thomas P. O'Donnell III, Michael McMahon, Dennis McMahon, Elizabeth McMahon, Frank Boyer, Althea Boyer, Marilyn Boyer, Catherine L. D'Elusio, Bruce Bernstein, Seibel, Josephine, Mary, and Angelo, Severio and Filomena Gentili, Victor and Olga Festa, Gennaro Gentili, Natalie and Anna Nardone, William and Joan Lee, Maria Nardone, Dr. Wilfred Liebhauser, the deceased members of the Toriello and Conroy families, and Josephine Ferreira. 
We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Also, let us pray for the health and peace of the Shapiro and Gardello families, the Bocha and Jorge families, and in honor of Tina Urban and Dr. Catherine Liebhauser. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And thanksgiving for, for those who are celebrating their uh, anniversary of their birth. So that is um, Ingris and uh, Joan uh, and Jane. And Jane, uh, so uh, why don't we sing a happy birthday to them, right? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear everyone. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer your prayers and petitions, those that we have spoken aloud, and those in the depths of our hearts. We ask you to hear and answer them, if they be for our good, for we make them in the name of Christ, your Son. Amen. Amen. Please turn to number 334 for the first Noel, 334. The first Noel the angel did say Was to certain poor shepherds In fields as they lay In fields where they lay Keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night That was so deep Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. They looked up and saw a star shining in the east beyond them far. And to the earth it gave great light, and so it continued both day and night. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel, and by the light of that same star three wise men came from country far to seek for a king was their intent and to follow that star wherever it went Noel Noel Noel, Noel, born is the King of Israel. This star drew nigh to the northwest, o'er Bethlehem it took its rest, and there it did both stop and stay right over the place where Jesus lay. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. 
to your goodness, we have this wine to present to you. Fruit of divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and honor of all of God's church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks holy father almighty and eternal god you have revealed this day the mystery of our salvation in christ the light to enlighten all nations now that he has appeared in our mortal flesh you have refashioned us in the image of his immortal glory. And so with angels and archangels, with all the heavenly host, we proclaim your glory in joining their ending chorus of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna on high. Lord, your holy and deed in all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age, you gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Lord God, we celebrate the epiphany of your only begotten Son, and rejoicing at the gift of salvation and peace for all the nations, we humbly pray, by the power of your Spirit, sanctify these gifts we have brought before you, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was handed over to death, he took bread, gave you thanks and praise, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up, for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all 
so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, alleluia, Christ is risen. Alleluia, Christ will come again. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ has died, alleluia, Christ is risen. Alleluia, Christ will come again. Alleluia, Alleluia. Calling to mind, Lord God, the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and eagerly awaiting the day of his return, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor in your church's suffering and see the victim by whose sacrifice you were pleased to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. Let him make us an everlasting gift to you, that we may share in the inheritance of your saints with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Francis and St. Clair, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice which has made our peace with you advance the peace and salvation of all the world, strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servants, the patriarchs of Alexandria, Antioch, Constantinople, Jerusalem and Rome, George, our bishop, all bishops, priests and deacons, all ministers of your church, and the entire people your son has gained for you. Merciful Father, hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you, and unite yourself, all your children, now scattered over the face of the earth. Welcome into your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy with them your everlasting glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you give the world everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Forever and ever, forever, alleluia, forever and ever, amen. As one, all children of God, let us all pray to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you have said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Also with you. Let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace Peace. 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 I got your name right. Peace. 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 Peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, oh grant us your peace. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and happy are those who are called to his table. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Only send the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Here at St. Francis, each and every one of you are invited into full participation in the sacrament of the altar. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Blood of Christ. Body 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 of Christ. Number 524. Behold the Lamb. 524. Body of Christ. Those who were in the dark are thankful for the sunlight. We who live, we who die, are grateful for this gift. Thankful for God's love. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. All who eat, all who drink shall live. God's glory. Peace 
peaceful now those whose hearts are blessed with understanding of the wheat of the wine united with God's word and the love we share behold behold the Lamb of God all who eat all who drink shall live and all all who dwell in God shall come to know God's glory Gentle one, child of God, join with us at this table. Bless our lives, nourish all who hunger for this feast. Shelter them with peace. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. All who eat, all who drink shall live. And all, all who dwell in God shall come to know God's glory. Lord of all, give us light, deliver us from evil. Make us one, be our shield, make still the winds that blow. Cradle us with love. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. All who eat, all who drink shall live. And all, all who dwell in God. God's glory. Well, uh, Father Gigi is uh, is um, doing the ablutions. That's the doing the dishes. Uh, I really wanted to, uh, I really wanted to, go, to congratulate him on the first anniversary of his priesthood. He's really amazing. <laughs> he has been my uh, faithful and constant companion since I met him. Uh, we uh, were celebrating Mass at Dignity and uh, very, uh, very, uh, 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 as this is way, in a very humble way, as if I would hear his confession. And so I thought from that moment on that there was a spark of a vocation in him. I look at him now, right? So right? I'm sure uh, if you find me dead at the bottom of the stairs, it's because Father G is behind me. <laughs> 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 so, right? so, in many ways, I push him sometimes beyond his limits, but he's been a wonderful, wonderful companion. And we are brothers in religion. So this morning he said, I'm a little nervous. And I said, is that because I'm here? And he said, maybe. And I said, uh, just relax, right? These people love you as, as I do, right? So um, I was teasing Father Gigi when he was a seminarian, and he gave his first homily. And uh, those of you who may have been here for that, he did a wonderful job. But now he's done an even more wonderful job in terms of his development as a theologian. He really did, right? So, but after his first homily, I said, Father Gigi, I said, Brother Gigi, that was wonderful, except you were preaching heresy. 
And uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I was it, but I was joking. And uh, his partner asked me, please not to joke with him. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, but in any case, it wasn't really much. It was a little bit of a joke, but uh, so my computer years developed a little bit of a sense of humor. So please keep him in your prayers, right? Please keep him in your prayers. He has been a great, great uh, help to me. I said to him this morning that when I'm not here at St. Francis, my mind is at such peace knowing that he's here. And, uh, and there's no greater gift that we can give each other than to be at peace, right? Mm -hmm. I'm really mm -hmm. that's true. In the back is Pat uh, Payne, who is studying for the diaconate. And so moving through much of what Father Gidi has done, Father Gidi couldn't do this if the parish of St. Francis didn't exist. When I was a deacon, I did my diaconate year uh, as a chaplain at a hospital, and I had to carve that ministry out for myself because Rome doesn't like us. Uh, we don't care about that, but they seem like to like us. And so Gidi would not have had such a full diaconate uh, if it wasn't for you, the parish community of St. Francis. So thank you very much for that, right? And so, uh, and we can uh, count on uh, your support for Pat as he moves through the stages of his formation towards the permanent diaconate. So thank you so very much for all of it. This, none of this could happen without you in so many ways, right? So, uh, so I just wanted to say that uh, the, uh, there is a, 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 a couple here that I married several uh, years ago, and, uh, and Nicole has had some health issues and is recuperating, but I think, Nicole, if you don't mind, I don't want to embarrass you if you'd stand, but just to have her with us feels like a little bit of the love of God in our lives. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, yeah. Our husband can't stop smiling. Right? <laughs> this was the best gift, right, Nick? The best gift, absolutely, right, absolutely. Uh, I think we forgot one birthday. I think Amelia, right? Uh, and no, not yours, Anne. Yeah, Anne's <laughs> Amelia's wife, Anne, is celebrating her birthday as well. She's not here with us, but I said we would celebrate. Sean, would you come on up so you can carry the star for us? Thanks for sharing the star. Uh, no, I, I don't have any uh, further announcements. Uh, well, except I'd like to. Oh, to, uh, to. <laughs> eleven thirty sharp. Next next week, right? Next. Week. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone again, and Bishop George in particular. And uh, so uh, let us pray. <clears throat> Lord our God, let the workings of this holy mystery rid us of all that is evil and bring to fulfillment those things which we rightly yearn. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father, may we ask for your blessing. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Made heaven and heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Both, Both now, now and forever. And may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass ascended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Number 318, Joy to the World. 318. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let us our songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. No more but sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse.
curse is found, for as the curse is found, for as, for as the curse is found, he rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prune the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love